Yes? I really can't help you with anything else. Please, go see Gillen at Serador's house. It's an honor to finally meet you. When I heard you were in town, I just had to send for your help. Your reputation precedes you. Who? Oh, allow me to introduce myself. I am Serador. Likewise, sorry to send Gillen's wife to get you in that manner, but it seems safer if we weren't seen on the streets right now. If you'll come with me. Splendid. Watch your step. If you'll excuse me, I don't have time for you right now, or ever. I'm honored by your presence. Welcome. You're now in the sanctuary of the Order of the Virtuous Blood. Few outside our circle have ever set foot in our hallowed hall. We are, for lack of a better word, defenders. We guard the city from an infestation that plagues it. We are vampire hunters. I'm sure you are familiar with these despicable beings, feeding on the innocent as if they were cattle. Well, this group was formed to combat them. Alas, we are but three old men, not able to match the fighting prowess of a vampire. We lack the strength to defeat them in battle. Our goal is to root out the vampires that live in our fair city. So far, we've been unsuccessful finding one, until now. It's come to the Order's attention that Temple District resident Roland Jenserik is a vampire and has already claimed one victim. That's where you come in. We want you to slay this vampire and cleanse the city of his filth before he can feed or kill again. A few nights ago, I was roaming the city as I often do, looking for any signs of a vampire. As I headed past Roland's house, I heard a cry. I rushed into the back garden to find Roland struggling with a woman he'd been courting. I tried to intervene, but he was too strong. He threw his lover to the ground and turned his attention on me. Luckily, I managed to run back into the street and escape his grasp. I hid for a while and then returned to the garden. Roland was gone, and the woman was dead. She had two puncture marks on the nape of her neck. That's when I realized he was a vampire. The Order needs you to track him and destroy him. I would start by searching his home. He hasn't been there for days, so it should be safe. Return to us here if you have questions. We meet at night. His home is located in the Temple District, right across the garden from my home, in fact. Ironic, isn't it? Vampires are nasty creatures. They drink the blood of others to conceal their true nature. Such trickery makes them difficult to find. You may ask Gillen Norvallo or Greythroat about these creatures as well. They've learned much. Hello Who again, knows, fellow vampire. They strike again. You must hurry. My knowledge is at your disposal. Roland was always a quiet man. It was only recently he'd met that young lady. Poor girl. We must avenge her death. It's said that the bite of a vampire has the chance of infecting the victim. If this occurs, they'll become a vampire in a few days. Be cautious. Vampires are clever, so watch your back.
Is there a problem? Move along. Go away. I know what you're here for. Just leave me alone. Vampires? Why would you ask me about those filthy creatures? That bastard. Seridodes accused me of being a vampire? Me? Ha! Ah, he's the one who is the vampire. What? No! Dude! I can't believe him. I knew he would try and pin this on me. If only I could get my hands on him. I... I'm sorry. I've been hiding up here in this cabin and I forgot my manners. Try and understand. I loved her. I'd never harm her. Ralphina was the love of my life. For the first time I had a positive outlook. Then I saw Seridor looking at her with those coveting eyes. When she started taking walks in the garden at night, I became suspicious. I didn't want to lose her. I should have trusted her. Oh, Relfina. Yes, I must let someone else know. That night, I decided to follow Relfina. I wanted to see where she went on her walks. When she stopped in the garden and Serida stepped out of the shadows, my heart sank. And suddenly he was upon her. She seemed entranced as he wrapped his arms around her and sank his teeth into her neck. I burst from my hiding place and attacked Seridor. He became startled for a moment and tossed Relfina aside. She fell to the ground, and I heard a sickening crack as her head struck a stone. I was no equal to Seridor. He knocked me down in one quick movement. As I lost consciousness, I saw him laugh and then run away. Now I know why he didn't finish me that night. He wanted to cast suspicions on me instead. I panicked. By the time I awoke, her body was gone. I knew Seridor was a respected member of the community. They'd never believe he was a vampire. I retreated here to the cabin to collect my thoughts. I suppose you must decide what to do. Are you going to kill me? Thank you. I'm happy you gave me a chance to explain. I know about Seridor and his secret order. What better way for a vampire to hide than to pretend he hunts them? You may want to speak to Fintius at the first edition bookshop in the market district of the city. I know he goes there occasionally. I doubt that he's told Gillen and Grace wrote anything, but you could always try. As you know, the vampire can't remain in sunlight. I'd wager that you'll never see Seridor outside during that time of day. Remain leery of Seridor. He's much more cunning than you may suspect. Hi there. The Tiber Septim Hotel is a nice place. It's not Hi there. cheap, though. I'm Fintius, owner and proprietor of the first edition. I'm not really at liberty. What nonsense. Seridor? He comes in from time to time. Usually it's when he's out shopping. He always comes in with a large amount of travel food in his bag. Then sometimes he buys a few books. I asked him once about it, and he said that he goes out of the city on business trips. 
I think I overheard him once mention Memorial Cave to another patron of mine, but he never talked to me about it directly. Yes, it's outside of the Imperial City. I heard it's a place where many of the heroes from past wars are buried. Sort of a subterranean graveyard. I just assumed Serator had a relative that died and is buried there. Not many people go out there anymore as the route is dangerous. But Serator is a stubborn one. <laughs> Takes integrity for a man to risk his own life to honor the fallen. I admire him for that. I looked it up once in an old atlas I had in stock. Here, let me mark it on your map. Good day. This is a holdup. Hand it over or die. You're sm <laughs> Take it. It's worthless to me anyway. Whatever it was, it's gone now. Who's they? Hello? Who's there? Huh? Damn rats, always skirting around in the shadows. Ah! Ah!
you f Did you really think that I'm surprised to see you here? I let you find me. What better place to get rid of you than all the way out here? No messy bodies left behind. No evidence. I was sloppy last time with Roland's lover, and I won't make the same mistake twice. After I'm through with you, I'll find Roland and finish what I started. I knew hiring you was a mistake, but I had to keep up appearances. The damned order insisted we get you into the picture. I think after I'm done with Roland, Gillen and Greythroat will have to be dealt with. Quite a list of things to do, wouldn't you say? Well, enough of my monologue. Time to feed. Do you return triumphant? I hope you're here to bring me good news. He's dead? Oh, thank goodness. I feared I'd never be able to leave here, or worse, that he would come for me. I can finally return home. The ironic thing is that I think the order of the virtuous blood should continue its work. Perhaps I'll speak to the others. Yes, I think that the order will live on. Give me time to make arrangements and meet me in Seridor's basement. Let us never speak of that abomination again. Horrid creatures. I hope we never see one in the Imperial City again. I'll see you in the Imperial City. I didn't know Seridor was a vampire. I swear! I serve Roland now. Please, accept my apologies for my error in judgment. Hello again, my friend. It's so good to see you again. I've spent a good deal of time speaking with Gillen and Greythroat. They agree that the Order should live on. Not only that, but we'd like to make you an honorary member. If you're ever in need of our services, we'd be happy to provide them for you. In addition, we'd like to reward you with this enchanted ring. Use it well in the fight. At least there are a few less vampires in the world now. Well done. But there are more of these creatures that still roam Cyrodiil. If any of our books can help you in the cause of destroying more, you're welcome to read them. Since you're an honorary member of the Order, if you bring back proof you've slain a vampire, we'd be glad to compensate you. Bring back the vampire dust from their remains. That should be proof enough. Return to me when you have slain another vampire. May the sunlight always safeguard your path. See anything? What can I interest you in? I would make... I... It's been a... Excellent. 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 Another vampire has been slain. Here's your reward. Go away. I know what you're here for. Just leave me alone. If you'll excuse me, I don't have time for you right now, or ever. <laughs> 